Hi everyone, it's June Blender at Sapien Technologies. And today, I'd like to show you how to add icons to a PowerShell GUI app. Specifically, a list view control, like the one that I'm using here in this simple app. This app lists all of the modules in PowerShell Gallery, along with the version numbers of the newest available version and it compares them to the versions that I have installed on my local machine. You can see that some of them are up to date, the version numbers are the same, and some could use to be updated, the version numbers are different. But I'd like to make this comparison task much easier for my users. And I need to do it dynamically because the installed version can change. And here's what our final version will look like. I've used green checkmark icons to represent versions that are installed and up to date, and yellow checkmark icons to represent versions that are installed but need to be updated. This is so much easier for the user to use, and it's not very difficult to add. So let me show you how. Adding icons to a list view is a four step process. First, We'll add an image list control to the PowerShell GUI app. Next, we'll add images to the image list. Then, we'll associate the image list with the list view. And finally, in our script, we'll add the code that selects the correct image for each row in the list view. So let's get started. The first step is to add an image list control to our PowerShell GUI app. So I'll go over here to the toolbox, find the image list control, and double click. It's added as image list one, so I'll rename it, give it a meaningful name, and call it image list icons, and click OK. The next step is to add images to my image list. So I'll click the image list, and over here in the Properties pane, I'll go to the Images property of the image list. It's a collection. Let me click the ellipsis. And up comes the handy Images Collection Editor. Click Add. And here are my images. Now I experimented to find the very best size and resolution for this use. These are PNG files. Each one is about 13 KB. And that's what worked best for me. So let me select the green check mark, click Open, and it's added to the Images Collection Editor. Click Add again, select the yellow check mark, click Open, and now they're both added to the Images Collection. They're also converted to bitmaps so that I don't need to include the PNG files in my GUI application. The Images collection is an array, an ordered list. So I can use the indexes of the images to refer to each image without worrying that the index will change. That index is fixed. So I can use 0 to refer to the green checkmark image and 1 to refer to the yellow checkmark image. Click OK. The next step is to associate the image list control with my list view control. So I'll click the list view control and in the properties pane I'm going to use the small image list property. But the property that I use here depends on the value of the view property of the, of the image list. If the view property is large icon, which is the default, then you use the large image list property to associate the image list with the list view. But if the value of view is anything other than large icon, and in my case it's details, I'm going to use the small image list property. And all I need to do, because I'm working in PowerShell Studio, is select the image list name. And now the image list is associated with the list viewer. 
Now the last step is to add the code that so selects the correct image from the image list for each row in the list view. To do that, I use the image index property of each row. I don't create a separate column for, for the icons. Instead, I use the image index property of the row, which automatically places the icon to the left side of the first column of the list of each row of the list view. So here's the code where I populate the list view and I uh, use the add method of the items property of the list view to add each row. Each row is a list view item and I save it in a list view item variable. And down here I compare the module versions. If they're the same, I want to select the green check mark. So I use a value of zero, the index of the green check mark image in the image list, and I assign that value of zero to the image index property of the list view item of the row in the list view. So if they're the same, the image index gets a value of zero, and if they're different, the image index gets a value of one which is the index of the yellow checkmark image. And now let's see if it actually runs. The moment of truth. We'll click run. And up comes our PowerShell Get Viewer. Click the Get button. It's loading modules from the PowerShell gallery. And there we go. Here's our PowerShell Get Viewer with green I green checkmark icons representing installed and updated versions and yellow checkmark icons representing versions that can be updated. You can see that we have a few of those. But the icons make it much easier for the user to recognize and interact with the application. So that's how you add icons to a list view in PowerShell Studio 2017. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for listening.